Hi, I'm Wendy Dahl with Dahl Wedding Company, here today at Innovation Companies to show you how to make wedding invitations. Now I've already made three samples to show you, but I'm going to take you through the process this time and I'm going to make it so that when you do it on your own, it's a simple and easy process and you won't be worried about making your own invitations. Now let's get started. I've got an A2 size paper and an A6 paper. Now you can make this A2 size paper a different size if you'd like. I've already printed on the invitation piece on my smaller piece of paper and all I'm going to do is mount it onto the back. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this particular wedding invitation. It has a couple different elements. You have the two layers, but you also have a band of paper along the back and a bow. So the first thing you do is cut your band of paper. You can use scissors or you can use a paper cutter. And I'm just going to use scissors to keep it nice and easy. And I have my strip of paper that I've used on the back of it. Then I take my tape gun and make my run down the strip of paper. I want to go down both sides so it's nice and firm as you stick it to your invitation. So this is the back and then I'm going to tape it to the back first. I'm just going to do it right up the center and then I'm going to fold it over the front and crease the top and crease the bottom. Now don't be alarmed that there is an open space in the middle. You see your back looks perfect. This will be your front and it will be covered up with an invitation. So I'm going to tape my invitation now. On all four sides, as close to the edge as I can get. Okay, now we're going to stick the invitation part to the backing. So you just lay it right on top, covering that little gap of paper that you had that nobody will even know exists but you, making your invitation. So it has the band of paper down the back and a very cute front. Time for the bow. Now you can use a ruler to measure exactly the center of where your bow will go or you can just, I went off of the word two on my invitation and I went straight up and I made two little dots right above the word two. Now you have your hole puncher and you're going to punch two little holes in the top of it and you're going to have to push pretty hard because you're going through two layers of cardstock and paper. and you get your ribbon and I usually give myself a little bit extra ribbon until I'm comfortable with how much each invitation will take. Now you'll notice that my holes aren't exactly perfect but it isn't going to make any difference. I thread my ribbon right through the hole and do so. Do the same on the other side tricky to get ribbon through sometimes. And then I want to make sure that it's even and then I will make my bow. Which in this case, since I left so much ribbon on there, will be long, but we'll have the opportunity to trim. But for now, we're just going to make a small little bow at the top and then I usually trim the ribbon right at the edge of the bow. itself. And voila! You have your invitation with a band down the back, a bow in the front. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do to make your invitation stand out is use the leftover paper that we used to make the band with. Now I'm going to line my envelope. And when you line an envelope, it's essentially this part right here. You can see here's one that's already done and it shows you this is a green one. Here's one that's in the same paper that we're going to use. But they have a little template that you can get at a craft store or you can just measure right from your envelope and you trace it right onto the paper. 
And we're using an A6 envelope. So we have an A6 envelope liner. And you can see it's just traced right on top. I'm going to cut it out. You want to make sure that the tip, the cut on the tip is nice and smooth because that's the part that will come up if they open it up and sealing it that way. And all you do is slide it right inside just to make sure it fits. Now it's time to tape your liner. You only need to tape the very top part of the liner so that you can slide it into you can slide it into your envelope easily. Just nice and easy so it all goes all the way down to the bottom. And then you lay it down. So now you have a nice beautiful envelope that matches your invitation. It was simple and easy, very inexpensive to do, and it's easy enough where anybody can do this.